Hey, it's John at Happy Wife Acres. We're gonna work on this snowblower. It's got a little issue when you start it up, and I think I know what it is, so let's take a look. It does start, and we're gonna put it on choke, uh, get it primed up, it's gonna electric start. The issue with it is, when I try to take it off the choke, it dies. So here we go, let me get this started. It's running. Now I'm gonna take it off choke. Yeah, I couldn't even get it off all the way and it died. So problems in the carburetor. Let's go take a look at it. So this video is not about a snowblower, it's not about a Tecumseh engine, it's about a problem with small engines. But this is the carburetor, and there is what's called a jet in there, and it feeds the fuel up to the throat of the carburetor, and I suspect that it is clogged a little bit. That's why it would run when the choke is on, but when you take the choke off, it's not gonna run, because enough fuel can't get through those little holes and up into the main part of the carburetor. What we're going to do, this is the bowl. There is a half inch bolt on the bottom to take it off. So we'll drop that down and take a look, see what's inside. First, I'm going to use a clamp and I'm just going to clamp off the fuel line. I'm going to loosen this bowl and it will just fall right off. This is the bowl. And you can see there's a little bit of gunk in there, but it's not too bad. I know this fuel is old, uh, but the main culprit is going to be this little guy right here, the bolt that held it on. So you'll notice right here, there's a hole and it runs all the way through. And that's where it picks up the fuel and pushes it up through the center. And so generally this gets clogged and that's what you want to clean out. So let's do that. I've got a piece of wire here, and then this is a bread tie. Usually the bread tie fits. Oh, it does fit through, okay. Run this down through the center. That's not gonna fit. We'll use the bread tie. You can actually buy kits of all different sizes of wire, but why when you've got bread ties? I'm just going to clean that out. So I'm not seeing any obvious debris pop out, but it feels a little tight in there. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use some carburetor cleaner. I'm just going to spray down the middle. So I'm convinced that is clean. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this wire up through the bottom. And just make sure that's all cleaned out. Sometimes there's debris. Sometimes it's just gas that's gunked up. Yeah, if you go all the way through, you'll see the little piece of metal going up and down. So I'm reasonably assured that it's clean. Just tighten this back up, not too tight. I release the fuel. And if there's no leaks, then we did it right. We'll go outside and give it another start. I didn't put the cover back on. I want to make sure it's working first, but the uh, prime it, the choke is on, and ready to go. Here we go. Choke's all the way off, running great. We did go ahead and clean the spark plug, but that's all we did to this thing. It was just a clogged up port in the carburetor. Very easy to fix. Don't let stuff like this slow you down. You don't have to take it to anybody. You're a homesteader, do it yourself. Most of the carburetors on four stroke engines are all built the same. So you're gonna find they all look like the one in this video. Hey, if it's the first time, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be notified of new videos. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on a homestead. Bye. <laughs>